you're slow. <laughs> no problem. All right. Cool. I think it's working. All right. Welcome, Stephanie. Let's make sure this is working here. I'm going to pull it up on my phone. This is live with Lisa, and it is Monday, September 10th. And we have a guest speaker today. We are going to hear from Miss Stephanie. Oops, I need to turn the volume up. Miss Stephanie. And she is going to talk to us about how she enrolled some people easily with her trifolds. So let's see if this is working on here. Yay, it's working. Hey, Audra. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Leela. Or Layla. Not sure if I say that right. Yay. Hey, Margaret. Okay, cool. So it's working. Are you still with me, Stephanie? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, cool. All right, I never know what is working where. <laughs> I got phones going, <laughs> laptops going, multiple right. screens open. All right, so I'm going to have Stephanie introduce herself. And um, this is going to be a great opportunity for you to talk to someone who just started using the trifolds to enroll people. Hey, Christy. So um, let's just wait a couple minutes here, okay. Stephanie, before we dig in, and we'll give some people some um, time to get logged in. I'm going to tell a couple stories quick. So one reason people don't use their trifolds enough is fear. So fear is a huge factor in any business, really just in life in general. The fear of failure, the fear of rejection, the fear of being embarrassed, the fear of saying the wrong thing. And fear is the number one thing in doTERRA that holds people back from reaching the ranks that they want to reach. Um, fear of handing out that trifold, fear of someone saying no. So I want to talk a little bit about that um, and how getting past that fear can change your life in ways you never dreamed. So I was blessed in this business that when I started, um, I really didn't have any fear because I still had brain damage and I didn't really care what people thought. Um, I was gonna tell people about doTERRA no matter what. Um, and if they made fun of me, so be it. Nothing they could say or do to me was going to be as bad as my life um, was without the oils when I was sick. So I was in pain and tortured every single day for roughly a thousand days. And there was nothing anyone could say to me that was going to be as bad as that. And so I had no fear. Um, the brain damage helped, right? So um, at that point, I didn't really care what people thought anyway, because we've been through so much. But you still always have fear, um, but it's how you overcome it. Uh, so here's an example. Um, this is very emotional for me. <laughs> so um, two years ago, um, my husband was doing very well in his position at a um, financial institution. And um, he was a six-figure income earner. He'd worked his way up in the company, everything he fought for. And he did not have a degree. He was told he would never succeed in banking because he didn't have a degree and all of these executive positions um, required a degree. Even just the mortgage loan originator required a degree. He fought and fought and fought and worked in the business for probably 10 years and worked his way to this position. Um, he decided he wanted to run for mayor because he has a servant heart. And for those of you that don't know, most mayoral positions in small towns are either unpaid or their salaries are five or $7,000 for a whole year, okay? So he wanted to donate his time and serve his community. And he decided to run for mayor and the bank said, great, go ahead and be mayor. We have lots of people here that serve their communities. One of the upper level executives called him in and said, one, you can't run for mayor anymore. And two, you can't be the oil dude anymore because it is not a respectful um, perception for this type of position. My husband said, what? What I do in my free time 
as long as I'm not selling drugs, <laughs> is really not pertinent to what I do here. He was super successful and brought lots of business to them. Well, what happened was the um, previous um, person in that government position contacted the bank and said, yeah, I don't want him running for mayor. And um, we'll pull our money out of the bank if um, you don't tell him to stop. So his employer said, you have to stop running for mayor and you can't be the oil dude anymore. My husband came home and said, I quit my job today. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> we had just like only been time in a couple months. And um, I said, you what? And he said, you know, it's scary. I know it's scary, honey, you know, because that's our benefits. That's our guaranteed income. And he said, I'm scared too, but this is what we're being called to do. And even though we're afraid, um, I just feel like it's what we're meant to do and that we need to push forward. One of the most serious, uncomfortable, I cried for two weeks, couldn't get out of bed. And then um, this is the anniversary of this time period. So, um, I was just starting to be like, why are all these people trying to hurt us? Why are all these people attacking us? What is going on? Like we're doing good in the world. Why is everyone out for us? And I was just really struggling. And um, I looked around, we went to a, a Friday night football game in our backyard. We have a man cave garage and all of our friends were sitting around. We were having a great time. And I was letting all these people steal our joy that government official, my husband's employer, I was letting them all steal my joy when we were surrounded with a beautiful family, beautiful friends, people sharing the same pur pur purpose to serve the world. And I was like, I'm not going to let them steal my joy anymore. I just, I'm just not. And got a phone call um, an hour later that my cousin and her seven-year-old daughter were killed in a car accident. And, um, why that is so impactful is I really feel like God comes to you in these times as reminders of what's important and to let go of fear because life's too short. And so obviously that was a horrible time, but we got through it and um, it reminded me of um, the importance of being a servant leader in your community and in your life. Mm -hmm. My cousin exemplified that. She worked two jobs because she wanted to, because she loved people. Every holiday, she worked at a medical facility. Every holiday, she baked hundreds of loaves of banana nut bread. She took her vacation time to do it and then delivered them to every employee in the clinic, hundreds of them. When we mm -hmm. had her funeral, um, thousands of people showed up because she lived a life of service and building relationships and loving people. And she wasn't afraid to do it. So I guess the um, point here is we're all afraid of different things. Um, but what you can't do is let that hold you back from serving others. You can't let it hold you back from doing what you're really passionate about. Um, we lived our whole life in fear of going out into business on our own because we were brainwashed that that's the way that the world worked. And so um, now, just to moral of the story, right? As you know, solid diamond leaders, as creator of, of tools, um, we don't miss that lifestyle that my husband had. He gets to do what he wants, when he wants, um, and our life is more fruitful for it in many ways. He gets to serve his community. In fact, he's out right now doing community service. He reads to kids every week at the middle school. He does junior achievement. He gets to do all these things that bring him joy. But if you are too afraid to hand out a trifle to someone, you're never gonna change your life and get there. So, my husband was terrified to come home that day and tell me that he quit his six figure job because someone wanted to hold him back and control him from doing what we were meant to do. And um, 
I guess I just, I learned so much from my husband on no fear. So I want Stephanie to share with us where she got her no fear from and was able to start handing out trifolds and enrolling people. Poor Stephanie, I'm throwing her under the bus here. She's like, you want to come on and what? And um, she commented a couple weeks ago um, about the trifolds and said, yeah, I'm so excited. I just enrolled two people with the trifolds, um, both of them in 20 minutes. And I was like, yay, now we'll work on the 60 second enrollment. But she did it in person and that always takes longer because you visit and stuff. So I want her to share that um, with us. But I want you to realize that it's scary when you start in this business. Yeah, it's scary to hand out a trifold. It's scary to teach a class. But all the good stuff is on the other side of doing that. So, Stephanie, tell us a little bit about yourself. What's your rank? How long have you been doing doTERRA? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, so I was introduced to doTERRA a couple of years ago um, by a dear friend of mine who um, actually introduced me to your page as well. So I'm yeah. super grateful to her and how she's just been helping me, guiding me and been here for me. Um, and right off the bat, I knew I wanted to be in the business, but I spent a lot of time on this side of fear and would hide behind my computer and hide behind my books. And I have like eight reference books. And I was like, you know what? I just need to know everything that way I will be the expert. And then I'm just going to have this amazing team. Um, you know, and all these people are going to come to me. And like you would say, I was trying to make myself into 1-800-STEPHANIE, which is a disaster. It was a total disaster. Um, I did rank to elite really quickly, like in the first three months, which was awesome. Um, and then I just got stuck because I wasn't making anything I was doing duplicatable at all. And I didn't realize that. I was like, no, 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 just, just do what I do. Just, just try to know everything and that, and no one wanted to do that. I couldn't understand. Reference books. <laughs> right. Yeah. Just buy them all, read them all. And basically I was like, I'm just going to create my own essential university curriculum and just learn everything. And it was, and honestly, it's been a disaster and I keep kind of going in and out of these waves. So fast forward a couple of years later of just hitting my head against the same wall and hiding behind the same amount of fear. Um, I am now 26 weeks pregnant with baby number two. I have a six year old um, and I do not want to work full time at my job anymore. Um, I wanted to get away from it for a while, but wasn't really willing to actually do the things that have been proven. I was convinced that I could just recreate the wheel. And let me tell you, you're just wrong. If you think you can recreate the wheel in doTERRA, you're just going to spin that hamster wheel for years. I am living proof. So um, a couple of, about a month ago, I was like, okay, I'm done throwing up every day. I can actually function again. <laughs> and <Yeah>. I'm just, <laughs> yay. So I'm just going to dive into doing what Lisa does because you had this phrase, the 60 second solution. I work full time until this year. I homeschooled my kid. I raised chickens. We have three and a half acres. I helped my husband with his um, business and he just got a second job. So we don't like to be bored for five seconds, which means I don't have a lot of time, but I kept hearing you say, I've got a 60 second solution for that. And I hope this doesn't sound weird, but I was kind of challenging you on that. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I've been trying this for a while. I don't, I don't know. Bring but it. I tell you what, yeah. So I'm just going to do what she does. And what's the worst that can happen? I keep spinning my wheels like I've been doing for years at Elite getting nowhere. And all of a sudden, now I have these like new enrollments that I've never had before. And that's where I commented. I was like, oh my gosh, Lisa, I just enrolled two people in 20 minutes. And this was like incredible. And when I mean 20 minutes, I mean, like I walked into the office of where we were meeting. We made little cups of coffee. We sit down. Hey, how are you? So good to see you. How's your week been? And then by the time I was back in my car after hugs and hey, we should meet for lunch sometime. That was the full 20 minutes, but the enrollment was much shorter. Yeah. Um, and it was really cool. So, um, so I met these women, um, uh, technically only one woman, and this was her assist assistant that was with her um, in a networking group that I'm in locally in my town, my town of like 6,000 people. We live kind of out there. Um, and she's been friends with me on Facebook for a while. So she knows that I like oils. She knows that I sell oils, that those are important to me. Um, and she's heard my, you know, 30, 60 second elevator speech a couple of times that we have great, you know, safe, natural, effective solutions that are cheaper and great for your family. I'd love to help you. And that's about it. 
So after a meeting, you repeat that because you don't yeah. have to think about it anymore. So yeah. let's help everybody find their like 10 second elevator speech. So, oh, so every time I say, hi, my name is Stephanie Gardner and I get to do the most amazing thing. Um, I sell and educate people on natural health care. It is safer. It is cheaper. It is more effective. It's totally changed my family's health. And I would love to help you do the same. So if you know anyone that's looking for answers, I would love to guide you to the resources. That, by the way, is really recent. That's from you. <laughs> I'm no longer 1-800-STEPHANIE. I'm going to guide you to the resources so you can do it yourself. We're traffic directors. That's all yeah. we are. That's all we yeah. should be. We're traffic directors. Beautiful. I love it yeah. when you guys repeat what I teach. <laughs> it's super awesome. And um, yeah, so I told my friend, my other friend who introduced me to you her name is also lisa and so i'm like i'm just going to be zimmerified that's basically what needs to happen i just need her to totally zimmer me all the way to silver so i can quit my job and raise this baby it's gonna be awesome we're gonna do that so um so we'll go with Susie a and Susie q so Susie a is my friend that's in the networking group and she walks up to me she's a very busy schedule she's a realtor and she says stephanie i need to talk to you um, I don't know anything about oils, but I feel like I should get some because I've been hearing you talk about them. I know that you use them and you like them. Um, so is there anything that you can tell me really quick? But she's like looking at her watch and she's got all these papers. And I'm like, I have like five seconds. Realtors are the worst <laughs> because our, our, I say R because they used to be one, but their lives right. are crazy. Beautiful. Right, yeah. right. So I keep these in my purse in this super cute, cute little pouch um, that I got from a friend of mine. And I was like, here, this really quickly, take this with you because I know you're out of time. And I really wanted to show her that I respected her life and her time because it was crazy. Take this with you. This is just a quick little trifle. It'll take you like three minutes to read the whole thing. Um, when you have a couple seconds, review it. But this is basically what you need to know to get started with oils. There's tons of other information, but don't drown yourself. This is what you need to know right now. And she was like, okay, awesome. And I said, when do you want me to sit down with you and we can look at this together and figure out how to get you started? And she's like, okay, next week at blah, blah, blah time. And I'm like, okay, awesome. <clears throat> so I'm getting ready to leave. She comes right back up behind me. She's like, hey, my assistant heard us talking just a second ago. She's bought oils before. Can't remember where she got them, who she got them from and really likes them. Would you let her buy oils from you? Well, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Right. So I just look at her and say, I would be happy to help and support her. Can you introduce me? So she walks me over. This is my assistant, Suze Q. Hi, Suze Q. I'm Stephanie. And I was late for an appointment, by the way, which was just meeting my mom for lunch. But I still didn't want to stand at my mom. So I was like, Suze Q, I only have like 30 seconds. And I've heard that you like oils. You've bought some before. and You'd like to get some more. And I would love to help and support you with that. But I have to run. So I'm going to hand you this. This has all of my information. This is how to contact me. But what I'd love to do is write down your number and let me call you tomorrow when we have more than 10 seconds. And she's like, okay, great. So write down her number, hand her the trifold. And I just got out of there. And as I was leaving, I was like, I have never just left someone that told me they wanted to buy something right then. But I was like, I gotta go by. My <laughs> heart's like palpitating. I'm like, no, get to the finish line. No, get to the finish line. I, know. I was so terrified. But she was expecting my call the next day at a certain time. So I call her. Suze Q on my little post note. Hi, Suze Q. This is Stephanie. She didn't answer. And I'm like, oh, gummer, I missed her. But but she's the one that set the time, you know? So I was kind of crushed and disappointed. But I said, hi, Suze Q. This is Stephanie. Uh, we had five seconds yesterday. And I know that you were needing to get some more oils. And I would love to help support you in that. So let me know when you have like five minutes. And I really only have five minutes, which I've watched in one of your videos. Here's how you enroll someone in five minutes. But when you tell them it only takes that amount of time, they're willing to give you five minutes. But when you say I need some time, they're like, I don't have four hours. Mm -hmm. So I had a phone, you know, left that message, waited two days um, and I still hadn't heard anything. So I call her back, same number. Hi, Suze Q, left her another voicemail. This is Stephanie Gardner again, just wanted to check in. Um, customer service is really important to me. So I wanna make sure that you're getting what you need from me. Cause I know that that was important. So give me a call when you have about five minutes. Still haven't heard anything. Two more days goes by. And we're now only one day before I'm supposed to meet Susie A, who's her boss, um, to talk about the trifle. So I leave her another message. She still didn't pick up the third time. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, <laughs> she's going to think I'm pestering you. 
you know, I'm overwhelming her, but it's okay. Just, just do it. Hi, Susie Q. This is Stephanie Gardner again. Hey, will you do me a favor and just send me a quick text? So I know this is the right number. I'm kind of scared. Maybe I wrote it down wrong and you're not getting what you need from me because I know this was important to you because she did seek me out. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I still didn't get anything back. She never texted me. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. So I show up the next day to meet with Susie A, the realtor, walk in and I see Susie A and Susie Q, same office. And I can tell they're both really flustered and stressed out. Don't know what about, you know? So I walk in, good morning, ladies. So good to see you. Um, I, I know that you just have a couple of minutes. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to sit down, Susie A? Susie Q looks at me and goes, oh my gosh, Stephanie, I am so sorry I didn't call you back. Things have been so insane. I got your messages. I just really didn't have those even five minutes that, you know, we could talk. Um, and I said, I totally understand. Don't worry. Life gets crazy. I'm meeting with Susie A. Um, I can talk to you afterwards. I'll have another couple of minutes and we can chat then. Susie A says, oh, no, 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 no. She can just come sit with us. And I was like, okay, great. So we walk over, sit down at the table. <clears throat> and I said, hey, do y'all still have this little piece of paper? And by the way, this is all I brought with me. Um, I brought this and I brought my, um, the enrollment forms. I hadn't printed the ones that you have, which I haven't printed now, uh, but just the enrollment form from doTERRA that was handwritten. I didn't bring a laptop. I didn't bring any of my reference books. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> this is literally That's all the way brought. <laughs> which was terrifying because I was like, what if they need to know something, but it's okay. This is Lisa Zimmer is a diamond. She knows what she is doing. Just do what she said to do. So I brought this. And so we opened it and I said, okay, you've heard me say these before. And since you've both told me you want doTERRA oils, I feel like this would just take up our time. So let's just go to the middle. Cause they both already told me they wanted oil. So, you know, going over, why would you choose doTERRA? They've already chosen doTERRA. So I didn't want to, you know, just beat that dead horse. Okay. So I said, now what I can do is I can verbal vomit everything in here, but that's not my job. My job is to listen. Another thing I that, learned that, that's from you. Awesome. Yes. I have goosebumps. Oh my gosh, this is like that's gonna be the best recording ever. Keep going. <laughs> well, my friend Lisa's gonna be so proud of me because I do. I mean, as you can tell, I'm a talker, I have a tendency to verbal vomit. So I kind of put my disclaimer out there. I was like, now what I could do is totally verbal vomit you, but that's not my job. My job is to listen. So I said the trifle down. I said, what do you want out of oils? What is important to you? And how can I help you? Oh, you're going to make me cry. This is so and so, <laughs> so Susie A, it was really awesome. It's kind of like an out of body experience because I've never right. actually pulled this off the right way before. So Susie A says, honestly, Stephanie, I don't know. I just don't know. All I know is I want to do things a little more natural. And I think I want one of those puffy things that puts the oils in the air and makes my office smell good. So when my clients come in, it'll smell good. Um, and I don't want to bother people's like, um, you know, allergies. Cause sometimes like air professionals and stuff can mess with them. I said, okay, great. That's a perfect place to start. Still having no idea what she wants to do. And I said, um, some of the most common reasons people start with oils, and then I was going from your script that said immune system, you know, immune boosting, stress management, mood management, you know, skin issues. Are any of those important to you? And she goes, yes, all of them. And I was like, okay, great. We have a, we have a package for you. <laughs> Go to this page. <laughs> this page shows you that these are the top 10 oils. And what's best is this is gonna cover uh, at least 80% of common household ailments and situations. There's a lot more, but don't overwhelm yourself. Just start here, which was kind of code words for me to Stephanie. Don't overwhelm her, just stick with A, B, and C. Talking and yep. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So I said, we have a small bottle kit, a large bottle kit, and then kind of like a variety pack. So the small bottle kit gives you, you know, this bottle of fractionated coconut oil, which helps dilute your oils. Don't worry about why, just know that it makes it easier on your skin and you can get more oil, at, you know, covered in one time. And it does come with the puffy thing. By the way, those are called diffusers. It's just like, oh, great. That was smart. Um, she this, her language so that she doesn't feel dumb. Yeah. That's brilliant. Okay, keep going. <laughs> Exactly. So then I said, or we have a large bottle kit. And I think you'll like this one better because you get the top 10 oils, but they're bigger bottles. You get three times as much oil, 
but it's less than twice the price. Plus they give you that free diffuser. So I think it's just going to be a better value for you, but it's whatever you are comfortable with. Or the third one on here is like a variety kit. It gives you a lot more oils and then a little sampling from each department of doTERRA. But the biggest thing in this kit is gonna be your vitamins. It's basically the foundation of everything you need to accomplish those goals that you said were important to you. The immune system health, the sleep management, the mood management, the stress management. And she's like, okay. I said, so why don't you look at this for a second? and see what you're comfortable with. And I'm gonna ask Susie Q how I can help her. And she's like, okay, great. So she's kind of looking through. Same thing with Susie Q. Susie Q, what's important to you? And she says, you know, I really like um, this one that's like kind of in a bluish green bottle. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what could that be? And um, I said, exactly, that's exactly what it was, was balance. And I was like, okay, well tell me more about that. And she was like, I think it has like, I forgot what she said, but basically it was good for like meditation. And I always have balance in my purse. As you can tell, I over talk and I talk really fast. The balance kind of calms me down. Maybe I should have more of that in the diffuser right now. Um, but I said, actually, I do happen to have one in my purse called balance. Do you want to smell it? So she picks up and smells it and goes, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is the one. This is the one. I said, perfect. This is balance. And I said, by the way, it does have frankincense in it, which is part of our top 10 kit, which is great for, I was trying to really you know, focus in on the top 10 versus squirreling over to the other hundred options out there. Um, and she's like, okay. And she was kind of looking at Aroma Touch and she said, oh, and this one has orange in it. I really like the smell of orange more than lemon. And I said, that's great. It sounds like maybe the small bottle kit is more important to you at this time. Um, but I want you to get a good value. What are you comfortable with? She said, yeah, I really do think I like that one the best because she does have other oils she's purchased um, you know, other times. And I was like, okay, so you want the small bottle? Yes, here's what I need you to fill out. I'm not gonna waste your time by putting it in the computer now. I'm gonna do that later. She says, okay, great, it starts filling it out. Back to Susie A. Susie A, have you decided? Yes, I want large bottle kit. I said, perfect, here's your form. Fill this out and I'll put it in my computer when I get home because I don't wanna take up any more of your time. You guys have stuff to do. So they fill it both out. And I said, while you're filling that out, this is my favorite part. While you're filling that out really quick, I'm going to hop onto Facebook and add you to our support groups and tag you in the most important post so that you can get to them when you have a few minutes at home tonight. And they're like, okay, great. That's awesome. Thank you. Please tell me. Yep. Yes, it was. It was totally an ag tag on FAQ. So our upline has a has an FAQ that our team is using that we've purchased from you. So I went in, immediately added, tagged them in the first three even did a quick little um, word swag, like welcome to new members and put their names so everybody else could be like, oh, welcome, this is great. And I said, okay, are you done with your papers? <clears throat> I made sure the totals were right, you know, so they would know exactly what they're expecting. And I did like what you said to do. Um, I didn't get out a calculator. It was just, here's the kit. We know that postage or, you know, tax was, is around this much. Here's your shipping, sorry, pregnancy brain. Um, so you're going to be about this many dollars. They said, okay, perfect. And then I just left. I said, okay, well, I have to go and I know you have stuff to do. So when your kit comes in, I want you to text me and I'm going to come back and I have goodies for you, but we don't have time to go over that right now. And um, I've watched in your videos, it may have been better to have the printout of the, um, I have my oils now what, um, and their little goodie bag. But honestly, I didn't bring them. I kind of forgot. So I was like, we don't have time for that. We'll do it next time. Yep, that's so so we're actually meeting this week because they were at a realtors conference last week. So we're meeting this week. Um, and then I went ahead and sent in private messages for my next make and take, which is this coming Thursday. And they both RSVP yes, which I thought was really cool. And I was like, hey, don't want you to feel lost with your new oils. Come to the class and we're going to use the exact oils you have in recipes. So just bring yourself, you know, don't even bring your oils. I'll supply the oils, blah, blah, blah. So it was really, really awesome. Um, I walked out and my whole body was like shaking. <laughs> like I did it, I did it, I did it. <laughs> and I called my, my other Lisa friend and I was like, Lisa, guess what I just did? And she was like, I told you, this is awesome. I'm so excited. And so, yeah. I was just taking like forever in the old days, like word vomit yeah. with each of them. And then they'd be like, I don't know. And now like there's so many pieces of that that are absolute perfection and literally you know i'm hearing you repeat things that we actually teach but what i'm learning over time is i hear people you know tell what they say 
so many people can't do what you did and we need to practice. And so, so many people will hear me or hear you today and still say the wrong things because they get mm -hmm. mad. And so I want people to practice with friends, practice with family, practice with your upline so that you can get to the level of comfort that Stephanie showed. And so there are a couple of things I want to point out that were so good in here that I want to make sure. Um, one, what I loved was you put them at ease by telling them this is only going to take five minutes yeah so immediately they're okay you know moving forward because you're not going to time suck um and you said i want to respect your time that is so yeah. valuable to people um plus what i loved was um no fear to keep calling and saying i want to take care of you <laughs> stop <laughs> assuming that their reason for not calling back or not responding has anything to do with us. 99% yeah. of the time, it has nothing to do with us. They're busy. Something just happened in their life and you are not the priority of the day. It has nothing to do with us. It's our ego, our insecurities, and our fear that get in the way. Again, yeah. fear, right? So yeah. I love and it. I'm still talk. terrified. Yeah, I was still terrified each time, but I remember something that I heard on another call and I, and I don't think it was from you, but it was somewhere a really great leader in doTERRA said, they can't say yes if you don't ask the question. And I thought she can't tell me yes if I don't get her on the phone. So all I'm gonna get from not talking to her is a no, because I'm not giving her the opportunity to say yes. But man, it was one of those, take three breaths, use your balance, you know, I'm I mean, gonna do it. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Perfect. What I love too is when you texted her, you said, I just want to make sure, you know, customer service is so important to me. I want to make sure I'm taking care of you. They don't care that you're trying to sell them something, but they don't want to feel like you're trying to sell them something. They want you to care. And if you care, if you go in wanting to sell them something, people are going to feel it. But you want to help them. And that's what they'll feel it. Um, I also loved and wanted to point this out, how you kept bringing it back to simplicity um, and focusing on the top 10. So like it was going off in other directions and you brought it back and helped them focus on the paper in front of you. The worst thing you can do is start veering off into other directions about this, that, and the other, because then they'll just have complete overwhelm and shut down. Mm -hmm. maintain control of the conversation like you did and keep bringing them back to that top mm -hmm. 10 kit and why they want to do it um there's so many good ones i couldn't even write fast enough so awesome so um i love also how you recognized a couple of things that you could have done better that's a sign of um a true business person and leader when you can recognize and take the time when you're done and write down what went well what do you think you could have done differently you reassess you analyze and the next time you do it differently and you do the same yeah. thing every time i still do it you know i'll still try something new or tweak something and i'll be like oh that didn't go the way i wanted um so what she referenced was um we're going to tell you where to get all these tools if you're new too because um we went over quite a bit so she referenced that what a what would have been good is if she would have left with them, the I have my oils now what plus recipes so that the second their oils come in, um, they could dig in a little bit. And that is a free tool. I have my oils now what plus recipes. We have an unbranded version for everyone to use in the files tab of this group. So print those, leave those with them. And, um, then the goodie bag is just a bag of products, not from the kit, um, that you want to leave with them. So they just spent all this money and they don't get that um, buyer's remorse or, you know, they have their buyer high and then it kind of fizzles out. If you get the goodie bag right away, they have their buyer high and they have products in hands to play with for the next um, week while theirs are coming in. And they don't lose that high or risk getting buyer's remorse because they're playing with things. Plus then the second um, they fall in love with what you left with them in the goodie bag, by the time Stephanie meets with them, they would be totally ready to set up LRP or a lot of people even set it up on their own because she tags them in the FAQ system 
on what products to order next, how to make a roller, and why they should get their LRP cart set up. So, wow, this was like beautiful. I didn't even know you had all the tools, so I was <laughs> risking mentioning, please tell me the FAQ system, right? Yeah. So, perfect. So, um, how do you feel about that? Is that something that you can feel, that you feel you can do as a pregnant mom with lots yes. of jobs and a six-year-old? Is that something you can do to build your good hair business? Yeah, absolutely. And um, what was amazing to me is I was like, holy smokes, this was so simple. Imagine, I mean, you don't ever want to go backwards, you only want to go forward. But I was thinking, imagine where I would be if I would have focused on this level of simplicity and duplication from the beginning. And since these, um, you know, Susie A is from my networking group, whenever, what I love that I've learned from networking groups that has totally, especially with this experience, totally changed my mindset is when you're in a networking group, you you really aren't supposed to be <clears throat> selling, if you will, to the people right in front of you. You're explaining what your you know service is to their network. So you really only want to give them the tidbits that they can remember as they're going through their life and know, oh, so and so, you you've got a really bad you know respiratory issue. Hey, there's this oil lady, and she's always talking about how these oils help with her stuff. Let me give you her, you know, card or trifold or you know her Facebook information or whatever. And so I think a lot of my fear wasn't really there in that meeting because all I could I was really focusing on the referral, not trying to sell to Susie A or Susie Q. I mean, I was really looking kind of like behind her back at whoever her network would be. And so it just kind of changed my mindset. Well, after having this super awesome experience of enrolling them quickly, um, the whole time I was enrolling them, I kept thinking, I've got to be quick so that they're comfortable sending me the next person and I'm not going to waste their time. Mm -hmm. And the people that they're going to send to me most likely aren't going to be a realtor. It'll most likely be another one of their clients. And maybe that client doesn't want to be in whatever business they're in. And they're going to have to see that this only takes five minutes and you really can make income with five minute enrollments. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know, it was just a totally different perspective. It was almost like kind of an out of body. I wasn't so scared of the eye to eye right here. I just kept thinking of where that could go in the future. So that leads me it's into, really cool. um, it's absolute perfection because what you just said about the uh, B, B, is it BNI that you're in or business? Uh, business um, it's, yeah, it's just a networking group. It's not actually BNI, but yeah. So um, their philosophy is exactly what all of our philosophy should be. Speaking so simply to one another so that everybody can repeat what we say. So mm -hmm. you speaking simply to them so that they could repeat it to their friends. That just needs to be duplicated and replicated. So that's what I really am pushing people to understand now is that when you're meeting with someone to help them enroll in doTERRA, every word that comes out of your mouth should be so simple that they can leave you and five minutes later, talk to a friend and do and say exactly what you did. And that's what you did. That's duplication. Finally. <laughs> the second, we say, well, let me research that for you. You just killed duplication. Uh -huh. The second you say, I don't know, um, I'll have to go Google that. You just killed duplication. Mm -hmm. The answer to any question is, great question, we'll help you get um, the resource for that. Mm -hmm. That's duplication. Yeah. And so it just every little piece of it that people do wrong. Oh, I want to get essential oils. Can you just order for me? The second you order for them and don't say, yes, I'll order for you. Let's get your own account. The second you add something onto your order for them, you just kill duplication. And so it's finding the right language. And that's what so many um, people struggle with is keeping it so simple. We want to be amazing and we want to prove to people that we're amazing and know stuff because it makes us feel good about ourselves. And the key in this business, don't be amazing, be duplicatable. They're going to get plenty of education in their resource book, their app, and then in your private Facebook group so that they get that confidence to want to share more. And what you don't know yet probably is um, real estate is an awful business for leading 
a healthy life. It is very detrimental to our health. It is 24 seven, 365 days a year. And the chaos that you experienced in that office, that's mm-hmm. their life every single day. So there's wow. a very good chance that you just tapped an enormous future builder. They just don't know it yet, right? So that's why we have, I came from real estate, successful real estate agent for 12 years. I came from that world and I was on the verge of, I'd already had a nervous breakdown once in that business. And I was on the verge of another nervous breakdown um, when I took that drug and got sick. And um, they're going to get there. They're going to get burnt out. They're going to have an experience where over time you're going to keep planting seeds about sharing and referring, right? And if they get some free stuff from you or they see, you know, somebody come through and some money land in their lap, the wheels start turning. They're like, I didn't do anything for that money necessarily. Correct. Would you like to learn more about that? And because there's no such thing as residual income in real estate. You can work and work and work on a client and for months or years and never get paid. You don't get paid anyway, unless you help them sell something. If you get sick, your, you know, six figure income goes to zero overnight and plant just knowing. So now this is where we want to take things to the next level, moving forward in the doTERRA business is having the confidence to plant those little seeds of benefits to help them change their life. Hey, did you know if you just share doTERRA, here's the new realtor trifold that the Zimmers are coming out with. <laughs> Might be after convention. <laughs> um, we wanna test it a little bit before we launch it to everybody, right? But here's a little trifold. You could totally use this in your business to help manage the stress in your office and one of the things I'm going for in the Realtor Trifold, and I want to spend a little bit of time on this because it is so important because it's such an unhealthy environment. Um, their buyers and sellers are stressed. They're stressed. You know, they could have a transaction where they're getting to the finish line. And remember, they haven't gotten paid yet and they've spent months or years on this transaction and somebody freaks out. Mm-hmm. They can say, you know what, Stephanie? Let's just take a minute grab this touch emotional aromatherapy roller out. Let's just smell this. Let's just roll this. Let's just relax for a little bit and talk um, about what is, you know, upsetting you right now. And they can literally have the power now to change that experience and get themselves to the finish line and help the client feel better. That's going to be huge in that market. Realtors are so close knit. No matter how small the town is, they know thousands of people. In yeah. the network, and they're already a business owner. When you come, so, one of my big, my biggest builder right now is when I say biggest, I mean teaching classes and rolling people all the time. And silver, almost gold, is a realtor. Awesome, mm-hmm. huge, huge network. Yep, I'm so excited for you. Um, so I told you I spun my wheels for like, you know, almost three years, banging my head against the same wall. And in those three years, I did have the, hey, would you like to be a user share builder with almost everyone? And most people just said user, a couple said share. And I did have a couple that said builder. And I was like, awesome. But I wasn't duplicatable. So it went nowhere. So I backtracked and called this lady a long time that a long time ago told me that she was interested in sharing a little bit, making a little bit of money. And she's a yoga instructor. <clears throat> and it was really awesome. And I called her and I was like, Hey, I need to ask you something again. I know I've asked you before, but I've kind of changed how I'm doing my business. Now I met this really cool lady. Her name's Lisa Zimmer at the time. She didn't even know I existed. What's funny is you called me or text messaged me two days later. And I was like, but well, she's got these really awesome trifles and they're super simple to use. And my business is taking me a fraction amount of the time and I'm actually making income now. Would you be, could we talk about it? And she's like, yeah, okay, we'll talk about it. And we're good friends. We have a good relationship. And I showed her the the trifold. Um, I, you know, showed her the unbranded one and sent her one and put proof on it because I wanted to make sure, you know, there was no problem with copyright. 
And I was like, but you can get your own of this and have them with you in your yoga studio. She already uses yoga, oils in her yoga stuff. And I was like, I think that really there's an income potential for you here. And I just don't want you to miss that. Plus it won't take your time. Like I basically told you it would before. And I apologize for that. So anyways, now we're getting her launch scheduled and she's already moving this into her stuff. And it's just been such a cool thing that, you know, I did kind of do a few of the things you were supposed to do at the beginning, ask, you know, do you want to do share or build and whatnot, but I still wasn't duplicatable. And after having this experience and watching it just be so easy, I thought maybe I should call those people back and first apologize, like be real. Hey, I really messed this up for you like you. <laughs> But I think I figured it out now. And I would like for you to be able to do this simply with me. Are, are you ready? And so anyways, I just wanted to share that, but I'll be quiet now. <laughs> um, this was so good. And we like talked like three seconds. I didn't know what rank you were. I didn't know how long you've been in doTERRA. I had no idea what you were gonna talk about. And it's very obvious you watched the videos. So um, keep watching our training videos. You saw how much Stephanie picked up in here. Training videos are free. Like, seriously, I'm not out to make a million dollars selling a $20 trifold, right? So get your trifold, follow what Stephanie did, get your shares and builders to get their trifold. So if you're new here, let's just recap real quick. This was so good, Stephanie. Are you okay on time? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I was going to talk about all kinds of stuff, but this was still good. Everything else got bumped. All right. So the trifold is available at lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. We have it for US, Canada, Australia, and the UK. Um, <clears throat> once you buy it, um, any future changes that doTERRA implements, a price change or a product change or whatever, um, you either have to buy a new one or edit that one yourself. And there's a free PDF editor called sedgeted.com. S is in Sam, E, J is in Jackson, E is in dog, A is in apple.com. And we have videos in this group on how to edit it using that. And your shares and builders need to purchase their own for rights to replicate and duplicate. You hand out paper ones or screenshots to your customers, you know, to help them enroll. But otherwise, they need to purchase their own. And then I'm trying to think of what tools you used in there. You wish you would have done the I Have My Oils Now What Plus Recipes earlier. That's right. free in the Files tab. The goodie, goodie bag list. Goodie bag list is um, in the free in the... Um, announcements tab. We have an announcements tab. If you're new to this group, go, go click announcements and it's step-by-step -step details about all these products, how to use them and training videos. And really, if you're just starting and you're nervous and you're on a tight budget, you need the um, trifold. Um, you need to watch the 60 second enrollment video. Um, there's a couple versions of three to five minutes, 60 seconds. It's all the same video or all the same script. And you need to make sure you have an FAQ system. So reach out to your uplines. If you're going to use an uplines FAQ system, meaning you're going to, you're a part of their group and you're just going to add and tag people in that same group, then you can just use your uplines like Stephanie did. If you're going to do your own group, and manage people yourself, then you need to purchase your own FAQ system and get that set up. It is going to allow you to duplicate. It is going to save you time. You see how Stephanie didn't have to go into great detail with those people about how to order next, how to make a rule or whatever. They're gonna get it in the FAQ. So boom, if they get so busy that they cancel their follow-up appointment with Stephanie, they're still golden. They learned everything they really need to know in the FAQ short videos and what she's going to go through with them is going to reinforce what was said or done. Now, when they're so busy that they don't have time to meet with people for a membership overview because they won't, but they might want to enroll some people on their own. They know how to do it. All they have to do is add them and pack them. And now everyone's duplicating in 60 seconds segments which is what yes. we need everybody wants the amazon youtube experience so we just built it in this process yeah 
Well, and I'm going to put, or I already have in the two folders, like I have 12 cent folders from the dollar or whatever um, for their, I have my oils now wet papers. Mm -hmm. um, and I've put three of my trifles in there and I'm going to do exactly what you said. Hey, if you want to share this and you're not ready to become the oil lady, you can just hand them this and say, call this person. And when they enroll, kind of speaking life, and when they enroll, I'm going to call them because I'll see a new member and say, hey, new Susie Q, welcome. I'm so excited. Hey, how did you get my information? And then I'll call you, Susie A, and say, hey, Susie A, thanks for sharing. Do you want money or you want oils? Perfect. And go from there. Now, I give um, oils. <laughs> But um, yeah, and that's what I offer people. And there's a video in here in the announcements tab that's basically a hostess or a referrer that goes over how you can compensate someone um, that refers them. Right. right. So um, I'm going to come back on a different day and answer questions because this video was so amazing. Um, I don't want anything else um, to go on this video. And is that okay if we um, publish this on YouTube? Are you okay with that, Stephanie? Yes. <laughs> This was fantastic. Oh so we're going to publish this on YouTube because this was yes. amazing. Um, zero prep. Like Stephanie's a complete stranger to me. She didn't have any prep. And so um, you can know with 100% um, guarantee that I did not put her up to any of these stories. <laughs> No. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, I'm going to send you a special gift for coming on today. So I'll message you when we're done here. But I want to go ahead and wrap this up and save this one just to the just because it was so perfect. Okay. I'm so excited for you, Stephanie. I'm excited you now have a simple business that you love that you've turned into mass duplication. Very excited for you. And um, if you keep going at the rate that you're at and following up with these people, asking them for the referrals, handing them you know, a couple trifles to share, no doubt you'll be silver. Coming up, October, November, and December are three of the biggest months of the year. Um, February is another big month, and May is another big month. So you very easily, um, depending on how much time you put in, now between the end of the year, you could probably reach silver by the end of the year. Wow. And I'm taking the social media course this month that you said we should take. So Perfect. I'm going to get there somehow. <laughs> you are. You are. And now you can be a stay-at-home mom and with your six-year-old and with your baby on the way and do this business and do it your way, how it fits into your lifestyle. You may not want to travel all over the place, keep the classes every night, but now you know right. you don't have to if you stay duplicatable. So thank you, Stephanie. I'm so excited for you. I really appreciate it. I'll chat with you soon on private message. Thanks, everybody. Watch this video if you logged on late. It is absolutely fantastic. So um, way to go, Stephanie. All right, you guys have a great day. Happy oiling.